Welcome to the podcast for the sisters and bros. It will make you laugh from your head to your toes. Talking about their lives from the highs to the lows. And the name of the title goes The Sloppy Joes. Welcome to hey! the Sloppy Joes podcast. My name is Joe. That is Joe. We're back. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Hey, I tell you what, the weather's taking a dramatic turn, hasn't it? Oh. And it just freezes. It was summer. Now. And then now what? It rains 24 7 now. It was chaos. I mean, also, the early mornings are getting a bit too early, a bit too frosty on the old. We 68 years old. We well, got to admit, it's a thing, about it? the weather in the early mornings. Yeah. Well, it was bad for my arthritis. Oh, Can I just got... pick you some, on, up on something? Here we go. Immediately. Well, one of three tops that I wear. One of three tops that you wear, first of all. But secondly, I've known, never known anyone who loves the colours navy blue and mustard as yeah, much as yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, Everything yeah. you wear has either or both <laughs> navy blue or mustard in it. This one is a, is a classic because it's yeah, got yeah, it's both. a classic, isn't it? It's, it's Derby well, Day. Why isn't are it? you obsessed with what? So you've gone blue. I've gone. Why are you obsessed no, with no. navy blue and mustard for your wardrobe? And it's not a problem. But I just wonder how you came to that conclusion. Do you think they're the colours for you? No, I think mustard is. But then also, I just went on the spree of buying other bits that had navy in it. Do, I when like you say it. mustard is. Now, presumably that's in case you're eating some sort of hot dog and you get some spillage, it just blends in. It blends in. If I eat loads of mustard, I mean, I'm, I, I've gone off mustard a little bit. The more I've worn what? mustard, the less I've eating. enjoyed mustard. Really? Yeah. It's sad that, isn't it? Yeah. And also, since you started wearing navy, you left the army. Didn't you? Yeah. You were, you were seven and seventeen. Who would be the worst person in this room for the army? Ethan James. Ethan James, everybody. Hello. Kent. Hello, everyone. Kent's finest. Yes, I'm back. We'll How do you think you'd be in the army? You've got a bit of a sort of army like officer's jumper on there. Oh, yes, this is to stay camouflage and that. Are you okay? Are you all right, Ethan? You had a bit of a weird blink there. What, you all right? Are you okay? Did I? Yeah, you looked like you, looked you, looked shy. Like you were just moments away from fainting. Yeah, you did. Well, it's my first podcast back, so I've got that, like, stage nerves again. <laughs> You're, You're away for nervous. one week. Yeah. Jay took over, didn't he? He oh, did. He was very good. <laughs> you enjoyed that, didn't you? He filled us full of ducking orange sauce, <laughs> bless him. Yeah, that was <clears throat> one of the most bizarre 9 out of 10 clubs But how, so. genuinely, though, how beautiful was it watching Jay just fucking love eating ducking orange sauce? We, we, we were talking about it, slagging it off, and then it, the camera cut to him and just like... He was <laughs> scranning it. Scranning, but also <clears throat> so happy. Yeah. He didn't care that we insulted it. That was one of the easiest no's we've ever had in the 9 out of 10 club. So bad. It was, well, I enjoyed it. It was bad. like it was a nice. 6 out of 10. Yeah. Even if you had to pick one of the armies... So you had the one of the forces. One of the forces. You've got, I'll go through them. Uh, so you've got army, navy, yeah, air force, air force, yeah? the Salvation Army, which is largely just shaking a tambourine <laughs> at, at a school fate, yeah. You've also got the uh, what's the one that takes? What if you get stuck at sea? What are they called? What the uh, the the lifeboat army? R R N L I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. R N L I. And then you've got the ones that get army? middle class people when they get stuck up hills. Oh, the hill hill people. What would you What would you join? I, 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 can I put you forward for the um, Salvation Army? Uh, I think well, you and a and a ninety one year old woman called Glenda. Glenda selling um well basically sitting next to a, a, a chocolate cornflake bun at a, at a school fete. I think that would do you the world of good. Well, I think it'd be better than your other ones. That I don't like violence. Do you not? Um, no, well, let's not say there's no yeah. violence in the Salvation Army because they just are. kick off now and again. They are rough. Does it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you don't oh, put wow. enough in the charity pot, you're shaking that charity pot all day. These women have got some triceps. I've on been twitted on the head with a charity pot before. Ain't you? Yeah. Out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. Did, police didn't believe me. Did you know doing that, shaking the charity pot, is illegal? You're not allowed to do that. Go on. Why? It's legal. Yeah, it's seen as harassment. You can't shake your charity pot anymore. Really? I didn't See, know no that. Wonder it kicks off Some old keys and shake your charity pot can get done for... Do you know in... Um, in rightly so. Do you know in Australia? <laughs> and rightly so! Do you know in Australia, they absolutely love shortening things. Like every, shortening? Instead of McDonald's, it's Maccas. Maccas. Know, we call yeah, it yeah, Mac yeah. McDonald's. Or but like, it, it, even like officially they shorten things. Everything's shortened. Right, there. yeah, yeah. Like Starbucks, Starbos. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Like everything's shortened. Even to the point where Salvation Army... On the sign in the actual yeah. place, Salvation Army, if you don't know, is like a sort of 
I don't know how they got the word army in there because it's. I don't know how they got it. I, I reckon once. I think that was so that once a year they trick some sixteen-year-old who's just left school to join to him. join him, thinking yeah. that he's going to Kosovo. He was made in, <coughs> uh, you know, Ipswich. Yeah. But he was made. It, no, he was born well, in. He was born into. But he was made in the Salvation, in the Salvation Army. Army. But really, they just sort of sit around, kind of like helping people out at like, you know, council yeah, events. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's odd, isn't it? But even on the sign, so it's like this homely, not like for kids, not for shortening, it's a Salvation Army. Yeah. On the sign it just says, Salvos. Salvos? Really, yeah, Salvos, mate. Salvos, mate. So Ethan's joined the Salvation Army, what would you join? Uh, I, do you know what, I like quite like the Air Force, <laughs> me. I think I'd be a good flyer. A good flyer? Flyer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so pilot. for anyone who's out there, it's not pilot anymore, because Joe knows, it's flyer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Although I was told I can't... Um, I can't parachute because of my dodgy elbow. Shoulder, sorry. Interesting. Thought that one, yeah. Dodgy shoulder. Yeah. Because if the parachute popped open too hard, then force, it could pop my shoulder Take out. Your arm off. So I can't be a parachute regiment. No. But I can be a flyer. A what? A pilot. There we go. But I'd worry if there was an emergency landing and I had to pop myself out. What, out of the fucking... Yeah, emergency like exit. Yeah. Would it pop my shoulder out? Maybe. So it's that or death, so i take it. Do you know what that'd be? What? James Bond 007 license to kill. I just pushed up like that. Well, that's not one of them, is it? <whistles> Homeland Security, mate. You say now my five isn't. That wasn't in your list. One of the special services. You didn't give it even the chance. Yeah, because to I know Homeland more Security. than you about this. Ask me any question about the army or the armed forces. All right. When's the maximum age you can be there? Thousands, mate. Thousands. Yeah, this war's been going on for thousands of years. Like that. What is the longest war, Ethan? Great question. That's gone on like that's maybe still going on now, maybe. Probably the war on terror. <laughs> right. Just cut back to you again. <laughs> no blinky things there, was there? No war blinky things there. Actually, Ethan, actually, let's go into Breaking <laughs> Joe's. What have you been doing this week? <laughs> let's start with Ethan. He had a trip to Kent. How is Kent? Yeah, he's doing all right. Hey! Text Jay. Well, how is how is Kent doing? Uh, yeah, it's a very nice place. The Garden of England, many call it. Who calls it that? Just, just the public. Right. The general public. They call it the Garden of England. Yeah, because well, loads of greenery. Very scenic, very green, very English. Lots of old buildings and that. Very um, English. What do you you mean said by that with the, with the, the sort of wink in your eye, a glint in your eye, so that only a BMP member can truly adopt. Very English, and that's a good thing, is what you seem to suggest. Well, it's it was very lovely. Had a bit of a potter around there. Had fish and chips outside of the Ooh, cathedral. Very I went That's there. very good fish and chips, I bet. Yeah, it's very good. I, I went to see, obviously, I went to see my girlfriend, Manisha, there, who's... Yeah. Who's English? Who's, who's, well, she's Indian, actually. Oh. Interesting. Oh, but oh, it oh, just shows... Wise. You <laughs> seem to love how English it was before. But it just shows how diverse we are these days. Who's we? <laughs> <laughs> Just shows how diverse they are. There was an Indian well, because, woman in Kent. Because your girlfriend moved to Kent. In exactly. Oh. Right. Yeah. What point are you trying what to make here? What point are you trying to make? That we've, we're, we're diverse these days. When you say we, I don't even know who you mean. And when you say these days, she only moved there two months ago, so it's like, like times have changed. There's one <laughs> Indian woman in Kent. I mean, yeah. Shows how diverse we are these days. Wow. Why, how does it show how diverse we are? Well, obviously... The English, us English people, were, were of all kind of uh, ethnic backgrounds. And that's something to be celebrated, I think, true. He's turned it back on me. He now. is, he just he's just Somehow know. he's thrown me under the bus there. <laughs> well, I, I, for one, am obviously very glad that you went down to see yeah. Anisha. How is she? You've oh, not she's... seen her for a while, have you? No. So, if anyone doesn't know, Ethan's in a, a pretty long distance relationship. How long did it take you to Manchester get to Kent? Manchester to Kent, what's that, 200 miles? Uh, yeah, it took about four and a half hours on the train there, and obviously four and a half back, so a bit of a bit of a trek. Um, but it was there for five nights, so it was worth it. Oh, five nights! Five nights in the Garden of Eden. Saying, he's talking like he's talking. He's spinning me out. Yeah. I feel like he's hiding something. Yeah, what happened? Did what something happened? happened? Uh, or during the five nights? Well, I did a bit of freshers. That was fun. Oh, so you went out, right? Okay. Yeah, there we go. So you'd fit in with the freshers. Oh, go on, you'd got a story. Just right, some story. Time to tell it. Well, um, so when we went out, we went to like a bit of a house flat party or whatever. Ooh, well, I, I love a flat party. Yeah. Doesn't happen as much, does it these days? Not when you're getting on a bit like us. But Ethan's still a spring chicken. And then after the flat party, we went on a walk to a, a takeaway called Munchies, 
And then uh, me and Minnie showed, we decided to go back a little bit early. We, we've done the night now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what time is this? Midnight, maybe one-ish? Oh, maybe one-ish. Maybe one-ish. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then uh, we're walking back, and then a man stops us. Excuse me. Excuse me. A sir. lovely English uh, a lovely English man, was he? Or uh, was he white, Indian as well? White English male. <laughs> what, like it's a police report? White English male? <laughs> white English male. Two? Suspect is fleeing the scene. White English male. There's a person's on the street. <laughs> Six foot two. Uh, 120 pounds. 120 pounds? <laughs> what is it? A fucking rake. <laughs> Six two. 120 pounds. This guy is ill. He's on his last legs. He What's might have some sort of eating weigh? disorder. What? What would you say the average man weighs? 200 pounds? No. The average man, I would say, weighs 175 pounds. I, I weigh 60 pounds. You weigh 60 pounds? I think so. No. no oh, no, I weigh 60 right. kilograms. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah, 60 yeah. pounds would make you a washing basket. <laughs> and that is too light. Carry on. Sorry. So the man says, excuse me, excuse me. And we go, hello there, you're right. And he says, um, I'm just... Do you know where the cathedral is? This is at one in the morning. Mm. And I went, oh, it's a bit that way, I think, fell on, but I'm not for around here. And he says, well, I'm feeling rather religious. And I went, all right, OK. And uh, he said, would you mind praying with me? So <sighs> me and Benicia went, uh, all right, well, a bit of a prayer with you. What? So we got on our knees. Shut up. In the street? In the street. What? Re- at one what? in the morning. Did you not think he was trying to rob you or bum you or something? Nah. So we we got we got down on our knees. So you've you've you got takeaway in hand. You've put it on the floor. You're on your knees now with a stranger. Well, we didn't actually get the takeaway, you see, but we went for the walk. But yes, apart from that, Drew, you're exactly right. We're on the floor on our knees, and we all hold hands in a three. Oh my God, what is this? And we begin to pray. And as we begin our prayer, the lads mates walk around the corner, a group of six, and then you think this is a bit weird. They all join in. We're all on the floor with these holding hands and we're praying that we're going to have a great night. And then, uh, yeah, we went back. And that's what God does that's as well. So God, is, God is so excited for you to have a wicked night. That's the prayer he'd answer, definitely. So you were all six, all holding hands, nine praying, or, nine or hopefully we'll have a great night tonight. Yeah, one o'clock in the morning, on her knees, did... holding hands, closing her eyes, saying, oh, we'll have a banging night. And then went, are you all right? Did you have a banging night? Yeah, I did. (laughs) You've made it sexual-based. Oh, no. Wow. What? That's What? Did you not think, (laughs) uh, if that was happening to me... (laughs) Did you have a banging night? I had a very good night, yes. Yeah, brilliant. So the prayers worked. The prayers did work in the Garden of England that night. I tell you what, though, I would never do that. I would be so certain I was going to get robbed or kicked yeah. in the face or yeah, like yeah, yeah. taken advantage it's, of. Yeah. Imagine getting on your knees in the street with a with a stranger. Well, that's yeah, why you've done that since the nineties. <laughs> well, that's why people well, say five. I'm the fun one of the podcast, don't they? Sorry. That's why people say I'm the fun one of the podcast because yeah, I do so fun. You only turn up yeah. every other week. Yeah. yeah. So, oh. <laughs> what, uh, he. Oh, he and you like said that. you put on nine pounds. Yeah, I put on nine pounds. Nine pounds. That's a lot. Of, what do you think that's down to? That's a newborn baby strapped here. Yeah. So. Last last week and a half, I wore I weighed exactly nine stone, and now I weigh nine stone nine. Um, do you want the reason for it? Go on. I just ate so much. That's all. Right. Well, <laughs> I thought it was going to yeah, be something. I thought different. you might be like, I've got a tumor or something. <laughs> you know the reason for it? I just overeaten. Yeah, of course that's the oh, reason for it. Hell. You can't put on nine pounds in either way unless it's water retention. Well, cause for, you've got fucking gout. For example, I went to uh, Foodie Friday on Friday. And um, I had, uh, I went a bit mental. Walked in there straight away. Giros, right? Giros, no, get out of Not man out of town. It was, should be. Did it get in? I think it did. It On in. concept yeah. alone. Well, that's in for me. So I had the Giros, cracking. Still hungry. Move on. Go to the French sausage man. Gives me a full so, sausage. Does he sell sausages or is he just a sausage man? And olives. Sausage and olives? What a weird combination. And also, did it, no, I suppose they do. He sells, this, this guy at market store sells sausages and olives. He's French. How did you know he was French? He said he was from France and he had a very strong <laughs> French accent. <laughs> Another example of how diverse we are. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. There's a French man. A couple of years ago, you never would have seen Get that. his sausage out. Yeah, yeah. Stockport so, as well. Stockport, Stock, yeah. Stockport, yeah. Uh, what else? So, big sausage. Uh, how big, sorry for the audio listeners. 
Oh, um, oh, I'd probably say, um, what's that? Ten inches. Oof. Hell of a sausage. You had a yeah. ten-inch sausage on Friday night. Yeah. Um, were you on your knees at that point? Again. Were, there, were there two olives at the base of the sausage? By yeah. Any chance, and they were in the man's trousers. No, no. Because I'm not sure that was sausage and olives. I think you just got shagged by a Frenchman. No, no. Imagine if a Frenchman had a ten-inch dick. <laughs> well, well, I sure. can edit it in if you like. Edit in you where? Edit in the Frenchman's dick. Where are you editing it? Oh no, the olives. Sorry. Oh, the olives. What do you mean? You took, did you take a picture? Well, it was a bit bizarre because I put like a bag, so it looked like I was carrying like around a bag of like, I don't know, cock. Yeah, cock. So, so scrammed them. After that, went to the fish and chip bar, bought myself a fish, ate the fish, <laughs> um, and then after that, I bought a crepe. And I bought from the Frenchman again. Hell. No, that was. What does just, he sell crepes and peanuts? No, I just from the crepe store, Drew. And, <laughs> and then I bought, and then I bought an ice cream. So what? How? Fucking how do you all this? That's mad. And then I had five pints. You've got the body. <laughs> you've got the body of a nine-year-old, and somehow you store it. <laughs> he had five nine thousand calories in it. <laughs> he had five pints at the end. <laughs> we need, we need five pints to wash down the sausage and olives. Jeez, and I had five pints. Oh. And, um, sorry, I don't want to make this the Ethan show. No, no it's it's apparently not, yeah. He's no. gone last week, he texted us in the group saying, it's all about me next week, boys. And now he's well, proving it. I've, 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 I said I'd do this to uh, a, a couple of uh, guys who watched our podcasts um, have, have, have met me in public <laughs> and recognised me. So I said Ethan's I'd shout them out. famous, isn't he? This is what happens, right? He goes to Foodie Friday, he eats a big sausage, he eats a bit of fish, he gets recognised by a couple of people, and now he comes in and doesn't even let us speak. I know. It's all about him, and now he's doing shout-outs on the podcast. Week. Nothing this week. Shout out! Your dog lost its eyes yesterday, and you're acting like you haven't done anything this week. I brought some in. We can't get fucking all right. Right, even anything. Finally, quickly. Fucking your dog lost its eyes. It's not, it's not lost his eye. It's been dramatic. Scratched it. Scratched Is that it. the nine out of ten club? His eye. Oof. Big day for Ethan. This big isn't day. It? Big Sorry. Fucking Go on then, do your shout out. Well, um, you shout out. It's not fucking Radio 1, is it? Well, shout out to uh, Matt from the Metropolitan Club in Dinsbury. Uh, pub, sorry. Um, he, he and his girlfriend had a bit of a debate with uh, Stroop Waffles with us. Yeah? Right. And they're uh, very you, much in favour hey, of good bringing it in. his girlfriend's name as well. Oh. Sexist and, uh, no, it wasn't. Well, also, my sister's fuming with you. With me? Yeah, yeah. You made a joke last week about how we both got on the donkey and nearly hurt it. And you've never met my sister, so you don't know. She, she's nothing like me. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? That so she's fuming sister? with you. No. She's, yeah, what? you did. You listened back. What you I'm said, oh, no, no, what no, I'm no, saying no, you listened back. You I've said, listened to you it. You said, I and uh, you my and sister, sister get on a wow. donkey and break its back. Yeah, but what I'm saying is. Why did my sister have to get brought into it? Because, regardless of whether she's even underweight, you plus her. Underweight? What does that mean? Well, I'm just saying that you're, you're insinuating what here that What does that I, mean, underweight? You're insinuating here that I'm saying she's fat. You did. You did. No, I didn't say she's fat. I said the 20 minutes in probably. I said the cumulative weight of you and your sister was too much for a donkey. <laughs> I'm getting a bit emotional. He's choking up. This is the an apology weight, video, Kira. The cumulative weight of you and your sister was too much for a donkey. Regardless of how, me, um, how much she weighs, let's assume it's 20 kilos, which would put her in a, a shoe Oh, box. This is, you're very defensive, it's aren't you? still... You Very doing most of the heavy lifting, see. and regardless, oh. if there's two people, it's it's heavier than one. Doesn't matter what she weighs. I'm saying you. Are you going to no say fan. sorry to my sister for saying she's fat? I didn't say she's fat. I said you're fat. Oh. <laughs> that is so. But a five-year-old me as well. That's a kid. That's I just want to say. I just want to issue an apology to Jim McGrath for saying he was fat. Then that's a kid. That's a kid that you called fat as well. Six-year-old kid. You never met me when I was six. I'm really <laughs> sorry, Joe. You never knew really who sorry. I was. And, uh, and just to your sister, what's her name again, witch, please? Okay. What's your sister? Kira. Kira. Just to be clear, I wasn't trying to say that you were fat. I was trying to say that you and Joe weighs more than just Joe by himself, which I think is an undeniable fact. I was I was trying to insinuate that Joe was doing a lot of the heavy lifting, or in that case, heavy, heavy sitting. sitting. <laughs> Ethan, have you got any other shout-outs you want to do? Um, yeah, yes. Are you joking? Come on, what, what is this now? Hurry up. Well, I was invited to it, and it was just met oh, with carnage. True. I thought you, you were going to pass up the opportunity. Oh, sorry. Quickly, and to uh, Jimmy as well, from uh, who, who's in our friendship group, who go to the Stockport Foodie Festival now. Now we've got a little group of us, and he's a massive fan of the podcast. Loves oh, well. it. The thing is, we can't yeah. be mean to him because of these no, people. No, I'm not mad at them. I'm mad at you. Right, thank you, thank you everyone week. for listening. Thanks, Jimmy. Thanks that that person's girlfriend, whose name is seemingly irrelevant. Cheers, Ethan. 
Um, to go back to <laughs> to go back to the story of my dog's eye, it's not fully come out. My dog, uh, we every every morning uh, we kind of meet other dogs in this little green patch in uh, I love the you said park. That, like you're a dog as well. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we meet it. me and my dog. We go meet other dogs. Treats. We're both dogs, and then we meet other dogs. Um, I bought. Well, they, they often do chasing and like running around. They have, they have great fun. But uh, Buck runs into this bush to hide, and then he can come out. He, he's clever than my dog. He can come out either one of four ways. So he goes in one way. In one way. Out, and like then he Scooby waits. Do when they're running in the door yeah. in the corridor. You go in one, come out another. And then the dogs don't know where the fuck they're on edge. Where's Buck? That. Where's Buck gone? Where's Buck gone? Boom, it's in a bit. He's, he's gone a to great the right. player, your dog. Yeah, he loves it. He loves anyway, playing. He's ran into this bush this time and he's crying his eyes out inside the bush. It's a big bush. What as noise well. is he making? Ooh, ooh, whimpering, oh, you know dear. what I mean? It's, uh, I've got, oh no. I start running in. I scratch all down my legs. Uh, yeah, I, thought, I, I think. I thought you were going through a tough time. I think. Um, wow. No one slits the middle finger, do they? <laughs> Listening to My Chemical Romance. Um, I run in like that. Ah, come on, I'm coming, but because I thought he's been stagged by a, a twig or something like that. But then you see his eye. He's basically got. Um, a twig has scratched his eyeball. Oh. We think it might be a nettle because he's got two scratches down it and he's crying. He's like trying to pour his little oh. thing. Emergency vets, very stressful. Very stressful, the emergency vets. Um, but now we've got to put eye drops in his eye, which is a fucking nightmare. So you, you, <laughs> a you nightmare. drove me in today yeah. and you were rubbing your arm. And and I noticed it was flaking on your leg like a bit of arm dandruff, which yeah. I've never seen before. But you said, what did you it's say? dried yogurt. Because basically, <laughs> we, we try and... No one gets arm. yogurt on their arm like Joe McGrath. <laughs> we try and uh, tempt him to come to us with yogurt. And then when he realises what's loo, happened... Petit ex loo. Exactly. He goes, fuck off. Because you put yogurt inside yogurt of his in the muzzle, don't you? Yeah. Because the, basically, the woman said, put the muzzle on because he'll bite. He'll try and bite the, uh, the eye drop. And your fingers are there, so... Yeah, you know, he never tries to bite us. So we've got a little muzzle with yogurt, and he's like, oh, 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 at it. as soon as he sees the eye drops, he goes, fuck off. Can yogurt everywhere. So the house is decorated yogurt. Really? I thought it was a Jackson Pollock thing you were going for when I came around. I had uh, no idea what that means. So have you uh, managed to get the eye drops in? Failed this morning. Right. Ended in tears for everyone. Well, especially him with his fucking scratched eye. But we'll go again tonight <laughs> after... We go uh, again, again tonight, tonight, like yeah, it's fucking like Trent Alexander-Arnold. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what? It wasn't a great day for us. Uh, obviously, we didn't get the result we wanted. No eye drops in there, but all we can do is say that we'll go again tonight. We'll go can again I be tonight. honest with you, Joe? Yeah. Well, I you said you should come round. You can go round if you want. I'll let you hold the dog down. Can I ask You've you a question? A strong dog. Have you ever put the muzzle on and lit the yogurt out of yourself? Because <laughs> you're so excited. No, but now you've said that. I mean, we only bought it yesterday. <laughs> We don't often have a muzzle for the dog. If you put a bit of like, or oh, peri peri mayo at the bottom of that muzzle, <laughs> just like what you're watching curry. You and I once saw making... where I actually live in uh, near Gay Village. I once saw um, a man walk two human dogs into the two, Thompson Arms. Two what? They were humans dressed as dogs. Yeah, and they had leads, and they had muzzles. Ooh. What's that? Ghost. It's interesting that the old because uh, I'm very much a person where I think if that's what you're into, go for it. But I would be so embarrassed walking yeah, someone no. down the street. Well, maybe that's Obviously, part of it. Not even, not even to mention, of course it's part of it. Not even to mention how embarrassing it would be on, on, on all fours. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah. I'd be more embarrassed walking them. Yeah, that's than true. Because yeah, yeah, it's yeah. on all fours, you've got the mask on, no one really knows it's you. What do the police get in? Do the police get involved at all? I don't think they can. Do they, do they, we've got to make sure. Like, are these what, in case right? it's like urinating in, in public or whatever? <laughs> yeah. Have you picked up after that? <laughs> Just doing a shit hey, on the I ground. I wonder the, the, the dogs. That Imagine how big the, the, the litter bag would have to be. Wow. Fucking Tesco some, carry bag. If you do that, we've got some good, we've got a supplier for some good old dog bags. A supplier? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, come here, see, I've got a, got a dog bag guy. What do you mean you've got a supplier for some good say, old dog I can't, I can't say anymore. Really? Can I, I can I bring something to you today? Yeah. When I went do. to Copenhagen. Yeah, Copenhagen. I thought I should bring back a nine out of ten club. <laughs> right. Unfortunately, I didn't eat anything that was great uh, other than in a restaurant. Can I say one of the funniest emails we've had since you come back from Copenhagen was a guy saying, "Oh, if Joe's still there mm. and he recommended a load of places, yeah. you clearly weren't still there. We just done a podcast that about came it. Back to, yeah, <laughs> that came back after we'd done the podcast. Yeah. Um, but." saying that we'd been there. But what I did bring back was, I thought, instead of bringing back something I know is good, let's all together find out if this thing, I, I don't know what it okay, is. Okay, love is this. Good. So love here's it. what I brought in from Copenhagen. Copenhagen. Now, this right here, no English on it, and I don't speak Copenhagish. <laughs> this, this, ladies and gentlemen, is a Pepe XL. <laughs> 
It's a Pepe. It's a Pepe double XL. Are we expecting some sort of pepperami? Here? I think it might be pepperami, but, f- but but don't read anything on it. Feel how wide that is. Wow. You could knock out a fucking Doberman with that. Jesus. Give it. Let me open this up. So this is a Pepe double XL, and on the back it says Tutilaku Tosi Himun. And I couldn't agree more. So I'm going to open the Pepe XL. We're all going to try it, and we're going to decide whether we think this is 9 out of 10. Or even food. Yeah, okay. I'll be honest. I don't know I if it actually reveal. is. I want a There's possibility I open this, and it's some sort of cleaning product. I genuinely don't know what it nah. is. Okay, go on Interestingly, then. Joe, sorry, just on the packaging. Are you doing a call-out from someone? Who, from no, if you just yeah, call it upside food. down, it could be actually called Adad. No, it couldn't. It could, yeah. On the camera, it could be. Yeah. But it's an Adad LXX. <laughs> right, go on, open it. Pepe XXL. Uh, if the other listeners, Joe's struggling. Yeah, it's a big old tube of pepperami. It's not. Oh, it's going to be like licorice, isn't it's it? It's licorice. Oh. oh, it's my worst nightmare. That looks like it could be something else as well. A dickerish? A dickerish. Right. I'm just going to go in on the Pepe double XL. Oh, God. This Proper go in. There's some stainage on these. How far there? could you get that down you? I think I can get to the snap. Get on the... Yeah, go on then. Come on, go on, come on. I'm not doing that, but I'll do this. <laughs> right, I'm not going through it until you've got a problem. What do you mean? Oh, God. Okay, through it. So it's licorice. Oh, God. <laughs> Ethan, let me give it to Ethan. I hate licorice, well, too. Well, you've got half some. I hate it. Oh. Good to you. No, let him just shove it in. Ah, I hate it, true. I hate it. Let him shove it in. Oh. <laughs> just for posterity say, that was Joe that found that, not me or anything. I hate it, true. I hate it. It's so rank. It's so rank, that Pepe de Bada. I can't believe someone eat a full bar of that. It's fucking big. I was so certain it was going to be pepperoni. Oh, it's not fun, is it? So is that a 9 out of 10? No, it's definitely not. Right, to save the day, we will be moving on to the 9 out of 10 club now, which is where wow. we try and put forward the best food in all of the land into a secret club. It's not secret. It into is. a big club. Exclusive club. Exclu- that's the word I was looking for. And today, we come back around to the man who's never been too lucky in the 9 out of 10 club. I think Greg Steak Baker's the only one. Yeah. It's Ethan James, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, everyone. Hello. Um, yes, it is my... Uh, Nine out of ten club today, and here in the Sloppy Drew studio, it's breakfast time. Um, so <laughs> I think we should go down a bit of a, uh, a breakfast route. Yeah. Um, because Joe McGrath said, "Can you go down well, a breakfast no, no, no. route?" Because I, I want my breakfast bought for me. It is. What time is it? Ten o'clock. It's ten thirty-eight. <laughs> <laughs> Specific. <laughs> Guess what time it is? I'll tell you what time it is. Eat. So, here it is, uh, ladies and gentlemen. My nine out of ten club. Yeah. What is it? Is a, uh, a, a Greg's bacon sandwich with tomato sauce. You've gone to Greg's again? This is uh, fantastic. <laughs> Out of all the bacon sandwiches, Greg's is the best. Okay, come. Wait, 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 wait. Bring it round here. Bring it. Put it Just before you come out, is Greg's the best or is Greg's the cheapest? Well, is that not the same thing? <laughs> it's a good point. It is a good point. Right, so tomato sauce, would that be how you build your bacon bacon before? Would you go brown or to red? I was so certain it was going to be McDonald's sausage and egg McMuffins, and I was so ready to put it in. Did you think about McDonald's? Uh, the McDonald's muffins crap, so I wouldn't have brought it in. Fucking hell. What, have we got one each? Yeah. Okay, now that's good. <laughs> wow, it, it's not still the test of time, mine. Mine is cold and dry. Is but... there any red sauce here? Yeah. Okay. Well, firstly, I hate to say this, Ethan, and I know this about Greg's, I could have told you this before I took the bite. They use unsmoked bacon. Oh, uh, well, too it, right. Pardon? Too right. What do you mean, too right? Well, you don't want smoked bacon, Joe. Who do, why don't I? Because it's horrible and smoky. Well, I prefer smoked bacon. So immediately you've lost one point. Oh, so it's it's not in, is no, it? No, well the maximum. You want to start. No, no, he's, from, he's a ten, always... from a ten, it's down to a nine. So far, none of this petulance from you. You go to Kent, you come back, and all of a sudden we can't yeah. criticise a fucking cold bacon sandwich from Greg's. Secondly, yeah. I would pick 
Brown sauce if it was me. Really, yeah. Well, what about you, Joe? Talk, I, I'd be a red sauce kind of guy. <laughs> I like red sauce. I love it. Yeah, on the bacon, I'd pick a red sauce kind of guy. I mean, it looked like they ran out. Did they run out of red sauce here? Did they not put Did it on? on? I asked them not to put a lot, it on. Is there? Right. Is there none on it? Can I say what I like about Greg's breakfast? Have I ever get them? I do like their sausage. The sausage. Now, the sausage is good. Would you never have thrown a sausage in there? Oh, fucking hell. I've just bought you a breakfast and you give us a load of shit. This is, this is, see, this is the problem with Ethan. He doesn't play the Your game. Your stinks. He brings his own game. So it's not, is, is a bacon sandwich from Greg's 9 out of 10. It's, I've just bought you a bacon sandwich and this is how you, this is how you repay me. I think this is some sort of manipulation that you're going for here, Ethan. No. Ethan, why do you love it so much? Um, okay, because um, nice bit of bread, yeah. The bacon is uh, very tasty, but crispy, yeah. Um, tomato sauce, perfect uh, sauce for a bacon sandwich, makes it not too dry, lovely bit of tomato to it. And um, it's cheap and cheerful and the perfect size. And if you get it with like a hot chocolate or a tea, I think it's only like 220. So do we have to, we, we have to factor in the fact that theoretically for an extra 50p, there could be a drink with this that we don't have that also isn't the food in front of us. Didn't have enough hands. Yeah, they could have given you one of those holders. Could have done, couldn't they, yeah. Actually, I didn't order a drink, so... Yeah! Yeah. Right. But we're not reviewing oh, this man. with a drink that may or may not exist. We are reviewing... It's so tough, because in Ethan's Giros world, we have to take in the concept of a bacon butty, because but we've I've rubbished that now, haven't we? We have, because also, I was going to bring in a bacon sandwich at some point. Yeah. But I would have brought in one with smoked bacon, with brown sauce, warm. Oh, I don't what, uh, hold on, no, I've no, got no, this sorry, like yeah. five no, minutes before. No, yous, no, yous were late, yous were late, yous were late. Yous, yous are fucking late. The, the heat can't play a part No, it's it. not. I'm joking about that. Talk to it, Joe. Are you um, not going to put a bacon sandwich in the 9 out of 10 club? The most easy 9 out of 10 club no, ever. No, 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 right. Do he's the only thing. He's, 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 he's the only this is what he does. He's manipulative. He's the I feel sorry thing. for me. The, the, the viewers are going to think no, you're no, a moron. No. Look at this. Look what he's doing. He's, because he's, what I've got to say to myself is... He's appealing to authority is, there. Yeah. That's a fallacy. What I've got to say to myself, Ethan, is I know the bacon and sausage is better than that. Which is obviously a 10 out of 10. So. That's, that's, what's, that's what's playing with my mind now. Because he ain't got any gel in his hair, he thinks he's fucking cool. Is the bacon and sausage a 10 out of 10? And if so, then the bacon butty is, is, is 9 out of 10. <sighs> if so, I oh. so, don't fucking get too giddy. He just Shit. ran away clapping there. Like Alan Pardew. <laughs> what are you doing? the you? Alan Pardew Palace dance. Go on, do it again. Right. I don't know what to do because we will get a backlash if we don't pour. First things first, as I say in Bolton. Yeah. I've eaten the whole thing. I bloody loved it, right? I'm going to save you a, a, a job here. It's not going in. <gasps> there we go. Ethan, cut to you. Ethan, instant reaction. Let me explain this. Well, I, I know the viewers are going to be on my side, so I don't care. Ethan, He's just making this up. Ethan, like Ethan, a Ethan, Ethan, Ethan. <laughs> this isn't a popularity contest. I mean, <laughs> by its very nature, it is. But... This isn't a who the viewers agree with or not. And if that's the only reason you're bringing stuff to the 9 out of 10 club because you think you'll, you know, you're courting favour with our viewers, I think you need to change your mindset. Because as Joe said there, would a sausage have made that sandwich better? Yes. Would it have been, would smoked bacon have made that sandwich better? Yes. Yeah? No. Is that bread the best you can get on a bacon sandwich? Is it even, not even best as in quality wise, but sometimes even like a Warburton's toasty. Yeah. I think I think <coughs> we've got to think about the food uh, on its merit, I and I think a... the Greg's bacon sandwich with ketchup isn't nine out of ten. I think it's seven and a half, eight out of ten. It's great, it's lovely. I buy them occasionally, but it could have been better, and there are much better bacon sandwiches than that. What a load of shite! <laughs> No, I agree. I agree with Sorry, everything. Mate. Come on, Ethan, you've got to know that we can't put that in the nine out of ten club. It's a bacon sandwich, but it's not the best bacon sandwich, is it? What is the best bacon sandwich? Where would you got it from? I would have gone to, I would have, over Greg's, I would have gone to, um, what's it called? Rustica. The corner? Rustica. They do a lovely bacon and it's smoked as well, if you ask for it. Well, I've never been to Rustica, but I'll be sure to try it. 
No, no, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. No, thank you, Ethan. Sorry about that. But I know we'll probably get ballast, but the sausage from Greg's and a bit of bacon is so much better than that. Yeah. Well, I'll get you. I'll get you one. Thanks. What's next, Joe? We are going for Joe versus Joe. <laughs> and obviously last week was nil bois. No points to either of us, so it's still 5-2 to Joe what Smith. A, what a rush that was. What a rush. We I've, both ne- I've, right. I've never enjoyed winning as much as I enjoyed drawing that. It was a great game. Great game of Joe versus Joe. Go watch that back if you missed it. But Ethan has returned with his games and his, uh, his questions. Ethan James, you're in charge, mate. Hello, everyone. It's time for... Joe versus Joe. And this week, it's on the Metrolink. Okay. Love it. I like the Metrolink. Yeah, love it. Yeah. In Bring terms of tram-based quizzes, Metrolink is the one I'd go for. Yeah. Yeah. I've just got my phone out so I can write my answers down. Okay. Way. I'm not like, you know, texting my girlfriend. Ethan James. Wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> Question one. Sorry, just a sec. What was that? <laughs> just keep going, Ethan. What was that, Ethan? Ethan, just keep going. No, 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 it's not the set. What, what do you mean it wouldn't surprise you? <laughs> well, well, we'll come back to this next on, week. No, 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 I've got a segment ready for next week where we can discuss this, Drew, if you want. <gasps> oh, really? Yeah, I'll save it for a week. I'll wait for a week, shall I? Wait, wait, wait. Tell us what the segment's called. Um, all right, well. <laughs> I can't. Go on, I, can't, I want to know I can't, what it's fucking called. To, to build some suspense for next week. It's, it's a tease. I, I can't tease it. Tease it. It's, you I can't tease it. It's 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 fantastic. Just right, stay okay, tuned okay. for next weekend. Is it about Josh e- being on his phone? <sighs> kind of. <laughs> Ethan gets a week to grow a pair of fucking bollocks, ladies and gentlemen. So come back then. We might, have, yeah, e- we might probably have Jay in then because Ethan, Ethan will be away. It. I love it. So Ethan, maybe two it, weeks because we'll have to get you know because Ethan doesn't turn up for the podcast very often. So whenever <laughs> Ethan is next in, hey, leave we'll him alone. That. Ethan, no, no, uh, Joe versus Joe, take it away. Obviously, if they organise themselves, but I would have done last week. Question one: What is the track gorge in feet? If you want to know what the track gorge is, um, it's uh, the, the the distance between the two tracks. Bloody what do you hell. mean the distance between what two tracks? The two uh, tracks on the tram. Come yeah. On. Oh, that one tram goes down. Yes. yes. In feet. Yes. Can we have uh, to a decimal point? Um, is it a decimal point? Yeah. I, Unless it's exactly feet, two feet. Feet and inches. Maybe yeah. I'll give you. Uh, an inch up and an inch down. Oh, we have to get it exactly right? Yeah. Wow. Right, what have you put? I put five foot six inches. That's me. I've put three foot. Oh, I'm afraid it's four foot eight, but you were kind of uh, there you for found like an You're average not between do inches. Closest wins. No, he said you have to be within one inch. I clarified that before the show. One yeah. inch? Yeah. Well, towards the end, if you're still struggling, don't worry, we've got still a closest struggling. two. Jesus. A fucking track gorge. Um, what year Wait, was... when you say gorge, is it gauge? Um, G-A-U-G-E. That'll be gauge, that one. Stop picking him up on things. Just well, he's, he's fucking out of joke, isn't he? Got, it's just because he's got a feature on just your no, neck. Just no, I, I explained it. What is this, right? <laughs> so stop picking him up on things when he picks you up on things. <coughs> Sorry, Ethan. Carry Wouldn't on. surprise me. Fucking coward. Uh, question two. Um, what year was the Media City line added? Fuck you, though. Good question. Is this closest wins? No. We have to get it right. Oh, okay. I'm going to go with that. What have you got? 2015. 2013. It's 2010. Wow. Media City wasn't about then in 2010. BBC's only been there since 2012. Sorry. So closest wins again, I would have been No, he, said, well, Not he, said, yet. he didn't say it was closest Fucking wins. Hell. In, uh, I mean, me, me, me and Ethan might be beefing, but at least I listened to him. Thank you, mate. You're welcome. Um, in August 2022, what trial was launched on the trams? Which what? What trial? August 2022, that's this year. See, I'm fall, it's falling into your hands there, I don't know. I don't take the tram anymore. You go first so you don't copy me. I'm not going to copy you. What trial? Confident, aren't you? Um, I've gone with uh, free trams in the city centre. Dogs on trams. Uh, is that it's dogs on trams. Proper Joe McGrath tackle that in it. Mate. Proper local radio bullshit story that. <laughs> we took a dog on a tram. Gosh, you fucking <laughs> I knew you did! I knew you did! 
We took a dog on a tram and interviewed it. Yeah, it was fucking well, I interviewed a dog on a tram. Hey, if you would have paid attention, if you would have paid attention... To what? To my Instagram stories, I'll put it all up there. I remember... I no, you don't. What's going on with ah, it. so why don't you think? Because I don't think about dogs on trams. Free trams in the city centre is a much better idea, by the way. Yeah, Andy Benningfielson. Fucking dogs on trams. Been guide dogs on them for years. I saw a guide dog driving a tram once. Driver, driver was blind and the, the dog was on the chair. Shut up. Leaders, I swear to God. <laughs> Shut up. Go on, what's the next one? I think that's quite insulting to tram drivers. All right, carry on. What's going on? Why is you he a trying tram to, driver? No, he's not. He's trying to diss me now. He's trying to make me look bad. No, I'm not. Put bacon uh, sandwiches in the 9 out of 10 club. <laughs> That's um, why he's saying that he's, he's dissing my girlfriend as well. Awful wind. I'm she not was dissing, I'm dissing you. On, uh, <laughs> on the Metrolink service map, what colour is the berry to Piccadilly line? Christ, that's tough. Yep. Oh, taking a guess. What have you got? Blue. I got blue. It's yellow. Well, don't be fucking annoyed to make the same answer. No, but Both it means I can't wrong. win. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I can only draw. I can only draw. Well, the next draw. one's going to be closest wins, isn't it? So, better be closest. Uh, yeah, um, and I've got <laughs> another wins. And if uh, Drew Smith, you get us when I've got another sudden death. If we, if you equalise here, um, uh, so closest to wins. How many stops does the trams have overall in all of Manchester? How many uh, stops are there? You go first this time, Joe. For a man down. Oh god, I put 94. I put 119. One of you is closer. Of course. I think and it's, it's more. Drew McGrath, 99. Good guess, Joe. Well done. Yes. What's it that? 5 3. Feels run. I've been to all 99 as well. Have you? Did you <laughs> do that on the radio with a dog? <laughs> no, a, fr a friend of mine did do travelling to all 99 stations on the radio. It's and called you, Anna. And, but you couldn't remember how much it was? I got close, didn't I? I was only five off. He did well. I mean, I'd, I'd never had the, the, the benefit of a friend of mine doing all 99, <laughs> and I was still only, like, fucking 20 off. Yeah, but it's all right, 20 off. Right, so it's now 5-3. Well 5-3 five, three. Five, three to the me. The comeback is on. First to seven. But knowing Ethan, he'll probably make it you, uh, easy for you next week. Yeah, knowing Ethan, expensive. he'll probably do one of the questions being a feature that I did on the radio in the last few months, won't they? Imagine if it's... Let's do one on United, the then. <laughs> what? Let's do let's do five questions on Man United. Don't worry about it, mate. No, it wouldn't even be five questions on Man United. It'd be five questions on Stratford Paddock. With how niche it would have to be. Dogs on trams. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like uh, an old partridge thing. Uh, before we do some ask Ethan. Dogs Ethan's, on trams. Dogs on Fogel. Uh, before we do some ask Ethan, I just want to let everyone know that we want to do some more agony ants. But please get in touch. Sloppy Joe's podcast at gmail.com. Send in your queries, your worries. Get them all in, and that'll be returning next. Week yes, but uh, before that, I just wanted to do um, a little sort of Q and A on Instagram. So here's what people say: uh, They've got a question for all of us: hands for feet or feet for hands, and why? Feet Joshua. for hands, definitely. Feet for hands. Yeah, because uh, what what you may feet be losing, what you might no, sorry, hands for feet. Hands for feet. Because what you might be losing. So I want hands up here and hands downstairs. Double hands. Because what you might be losing in uh, sturdiness and rigidity. Yeah. You're making up for in dexterity. You could be sexier as well, couldn't you? I could imagine. Imagine what you could do with four hands, Ethan, in the bedroom. Oh, well, I know. Well, Ethan, yeah. only, Ethan doesn't even use two. Four hands was when uh, Ethan went to Germany, wasn't he? Four of them came in. <laughs> what would you pick, Ethan? Um, imagine how good you'd be at like, sorry, to, to like shucking corn. What? Didn't you have to shuck a corn? Shuck a corn. Didn't she do uh, Song of the Hitties? Shuck a corn. Shuck a corn, shuck a corn. Do you know when you shuck a corn? Shuck a corn. Do you know what I mean? When you're you peeling all the thing, you could, shuck four, you could shuck four corns at once. Could you? Hmm, shuck a corn. What Is do you mean, like, literally shucking a... No, when you, do you know when you see a, a corn on the cob and it's still got its green skin on it? Oh, And you shuck yeah, it. You yeah. shuck all the skin off it. Yeah. Imagine how much of that you could do if you had four hands. Imagine. Well, Not the you? German boys that you know. No, 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 no. Ethan, what would you, what would you like? What would I like? Hands for feet or feet of hands is the question. Uh, I'd, I'd, I'd have more hands. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Lee Brown says, ask Joe Smith for slagging off burgerism. Where is town's best burger? Good question. Um, and do you regret slagging off burgerism? Probably burgerism. <laughs> sure. And, <laughs> do and, you and, regret and the thing is, the owners is lovely and they're really nice guys. Why have you met them? 
You have. Yeah, I know them, yeah. Uh, well, no, no, come on, where would you say? My town's best burger. See, that's not... Uh... No, it's wobbly. See, I'll it? tell you what is better than burgerism. Five guys. And I know that, and I know, and, and here's He's, the thing. No, 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 thing. no, 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 no. Here's the thing, no, no, I know no, that that no, makes no. me look like a basic no, bitch. No, no. But actually, what I'm doing is, I'm <sighs> coming right over the top here. No. Because I think, like, certain things get underrated because they are obvious. Like, I think... I do like Five Guys, but no. It's, it's got more flavour, Joe. It's How do you explain that? It's flavour. How do you explain you that? Shit. Right, I'm getting you burgers. Um, I get you burgers from today. Yeah, get me burgers from today and I'll tell you Off how good it is. Account. Um, uh, almost You're Famous is better than burgerism. Is. Five Guys is better than burgerism. No, um, it's not. Oh, right. McDonald's is better than burgerism. How about I get you one today for, for what? Yeah, get me one in a minute. Off the company account. Uh, oh, sorry. Who's got the biggest nipples? Ooh. Uh, Can you see privately? Uh, uh, are we talking about distance from chest to tip, or are we talking areola width? Although I've got probably bigger than bigger man boobs, I think my nipples may be the smaller. I think my nipples will be the biggest. Really? Yeah, if you know that lamp behind you? Double it. Fucking <laughs> hell. Um, <laughs> right, uh, what, someone just said, Jamie says, uh, not much of a question, I just want to say keep up the podcast, lads. Uh, George Miller, the final one today, is what's your worst experience in a foreign country? Oh. In brackets, apart from when Joe shit himself in Turkey. Patreon.com for us to us pod. Right, what's your worst experience in a foreign country? I've got one. Go on then, you go first. What's you thinking? Uh, one of our worst experiences in a foreign country is, uh, I don't know if I told this story in the pod, I went to Paris with Becky in uh, February, and Becky was looking for stuff to do in Paris on TikTok and Reels, and she stumbled upon a video about warning you there's scams in Paris. <gasps> Uh, and one of the scams is people coming up to you after you've left the tram or train, pretending to be a train person, a and, train making, person. and making you pay again. Oh. Classic scam, right? Classic. So we, <laughs> we leave a restaurant and want to get on the tram, and there is a tram underground here, so I go, all right, we'll come down here. And then we end, we end up getting lost in the tram underground in Paris. So we go to exit and we leave. And then there's these ticket people are ready by the exit, right? Scammers. No, legit chicky people, but Becky thought they were scammers. So as soon as they got, as soon as they came over to us, Becky was like, let's go, runs away, <laughs> right? Runs up the escalator, right? And then they're all going, no, no, buddy, buddy, chasing after it. They have guns there, no, as well. No, 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 batons. Oh, shit. Uh, no, they Garlic batons. baton. Garlic batons. Oh, delicious with some uh, snails. Uh, and then I have to run up the, uh, I have to run up the escalator with her, like sort of, sort of lean back a little bit so they don't get it. I was like, oh, and anyway, we had an hour then of commotion. Uh, what were you running away for? But this was all in like Google Translate. So she types went in fucking dead angrily into Google Translate from French to English. What you running I away for? I saw some scams on Facebook yeah. Reels. And I was like, oh, I'm dead sorry for what you were scammers. Like that. She's fuming, monkey, not scammers, like that. Anyway, an hour later, a, a guy comes down and speaks a bit of English and uh, French. Sorts it all out, but it was an hour of like on the edge. Did you have to pay for it? Stole our, it took our passports from us. That's illegal. Well, tell the French. Uh, it's all Paris. Oh, oh. <laughs> Jesus, that was. Go on, Ethan. No, it is though, isn't it? Have you been to Paris? Yeah, it's beautiful. Well, the yeah. Eiffel Tower is beautiful and the river's beautiful. Beautiful town. Ethan? Big city though. Um, I once got kicked out in Mallorca. Kicked that out? That was quite sad. Of what, the country? What do you mean, kicked what out? What do you mean? Went to see some. Um, well, at the time, we're family friends, and then they kicked us out because they fell out with us. So it was, I had no. nowhere to go. This is juicy. This Wait, is so juicy. you went, you and your so, family went to stay with some family friends? Yeah. yeah. And you fell out with them so bad they kicked you out of their house? Yeah. And was this during the day? Like, or is this when the booze started to flow? Something gets brought up in an argument? And boom. During the day, they were a bit nuts. Um, and then they just... The bit, sorry, they bit you nuts? What did you say? No, sorry. I would kick you out. The, yeah. the person who... We went to go visit, went a little bit nuts. And there wasn't really any need for it, so we got kicked out. And our husband had to very kindly, randomly got us at a hotel that was available, just a random one. Turns out it'd be quite an expensive one because it just opened like the catalogue, picked a random one, rang up and kicked us out. Yeah, wow. that was Did you put sad. an argument back then? Were you I was only a kid. Oh, I don't only remember a kid. What, did, what was the argument about? Yeah, come on. What was the argument on, about? So, so, who's who's there? Talk us through it. Who's there on your side? On I'd, Team Ethan? Like the Avengers. Just, yeah. You, your mum? Just just us two, yeah. You and your mum. Just you two? Yeah, it was quite sad, actually. <laughs> the, whole, the whole deal is really sad. I shouldn't have really brought it up. But, Why yeah. did you get kicked out? <laughs> 
What happened? What was them falling out about? Uh, just randomly they said, we feel like you're taking over our house, but we're like, no, we're just... There's come. only two of you. I know. It's balmy. Honestly, balmy. Did you never speak to him again, no? You know, pro- proper shouted at me, proper give me a load of shit, and it was only like seven or eight. I was like, what the really? fuck's going on? And then we left. That was traumatising. you look into the backstory of Ethan, the characters, really. It all makes really. sense. It all makes sense. I almost Where think, are your friends now? I almost think it makes sense that I'll he's never short. Kick you out. I feel like Thank he's had you. such a gripe-laden upbringing that that's why he couldn't grow. Do you know what I mean? I think you're, you've had such a traumatising life. No, that's not that's true. So no, I've, I've been <laughs> brought up very well. No, you've been yeah. raised brilliantly. Uh-huh. Uh, can I tell you something, Joe? Yeah. I'll answer that foreign country question in a minute. Um, I was privy to a conversation with Ethan's mum on the phone the other day. Oh, yeah, yeah. How First of all, can I just say this, and I mean this genuinely, lovely voice. Lovely, sexy voice. No, I didn't say oh, sexy. So, no, you, you hinted no, at I it. No, I didn't. You did? No, I didn't. That's what you said in the car. David Attenborough's got a lovely <laughs> voice. I don't mean I want to bum him. <laughs> That's a separate reason for his work with meerkats. But his, Ethan's mum's got a lovely voice, and she is, by her own admission, feisty, isn't she? Yeah, she's she's coming on the podcast, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. for the Patreon special. What do you mean by feisty? So, so she was going. Maybe so, it was so, your fault why you got kicked so out. So Ethan didn't. Maybe it was. Ethan didn't. Ethan's mum didn't know I could hear her, and I was sort of like relaying messages to Ethan, and he was saying it, but she was on speakerphone. Yeah, and she was going, "I'll come on the podcast," and then Ethan was like, "Oh yeah, no." He's like, "But I'm not holding back." <laughs> What does she mean? She's gonna slag me off. She was going. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not just gonna come on. I'm gonna take over. Once she, she's well up for coming on. She was. She's yeah. gonna, well, she's we gonna might have to it. kick she, her off the pod, like you got kicked out of the house. Imagine. God, it would be PTSD, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would. What's your uh, foreign country worst experience? Um, I didn't get let in Australia. Wow. So we're in, Th- we're in Thailand. This was this summer. This was this summer. Yeah. So we went to. Thailand and then we were going to go to Australia yeah and but my visa for Australia visa Australia are so strict Mad, so it? unbelievably strict do you know because do you know because essentially I mean you might know this anyway but Australia is separated from the rest of the world yeah ages ago hundreds of thousands of years ago hundreds of thousands of years whatever it was long oh. time ago so Australia is like off by itself isn't it yeah but basically what, what happened is that happened before the rest of the world separated. So do you know up until about 20,000 years ago? What is, what's going you, on here? I'm trying to explain a bit of a background story as to why And Australia this is why you straight. didn't get into Australia. It all plays a part. No, it doesn't. <laughs> so, Nothing you're going to tell me now about 20,000 years ago. I promise you. Well, be so do you know like, the, the, the sort of the landmass of like Eurasia? Or whatever. Dun, 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 so dun, dun, the, I tried to discover a little something to make me feel. Sorry, so, erasure. So theoretically, you can walk from Portugal to Russia, or Portugal to China. You're tired. So, you're fucking knackered. But you could do it. And then during the Ice Age, you could walk. There seemed to be some sort of land bridge between Russia and Canada, so right? Mad, this. So animals and plants and stuff have kind of grown and evolved in a similar way through all of the world, yeah. except Australia, where it's basically been by itself for hundreds of thousands of years. Right, yeah, 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 so yeah. they've got that's why they've got marsupials and kangaroos and stuff, and they don't exist anywhere else on Earth except yeah. Australia, because they were like, "See you later, everyone. You lot all enjoy." They didn't stuff. have a choice, did they? No, but they sort of the landmass separated, right? So, so now that means their ecosystem is very delicate, which means if you bring in like a cough or a sneeze, gone, oh, wiped out. Yeah. So on their forms. It literally asks you, have you been for a walk in a muddy place in the last 30 days? D- do you know what I mean? If you've walked your dog at Pleasure Valley... What? It's not called Pleasure Valley. Whatever. If you've walked your dog on a National Trust land and you've got yeah. a bit of dirt on your boot, they won't let you in Australia. Jesus. It's genuinely that strict. Because if you do, you might wipe out all the wombats. Wombats, gone. Right? So their, their <laughs> customs and their forms are so much stricter than most places in the world. So we go to Bangkok airport... Adam McCola, scan, boop, sorted. J Jay, Jay scan, boop, through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Callum Scaman, scan, boop, through. Great boots, by the way. <laughs> they are very good boots. Thank you. No, I'll do it the way I do. Boop, boop. Um, the key is not to say the B at the start, just go, boop, boop. Thank you. Um, jo- Joseph Smith, scan. Uh, interesting. Ooh. Scan again. Uh, I would have thought it was more because of your past. My checkered history? Yeah, not your muddy boots. Well, so then we look at my thing, because I've got an American passport. We've put down my country of origin as 
the UK because yeah. I'm British, but actually it was the document country of origin. Oh. So my American passport is obviously not from England. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they can't let me in. So you didn't get they can't what? let me in. So the person at the counter goes, "This, you know, I can't. Let me just go again." Ooh. No. Ooh. Uh, so the woman at the counter ri- goes to another woman. She rings Australia. Jesus. She's like, I'll ring them, I'll what sort a, it out, no problem. Don't mean, but this, you know, we'll be fine. Ring them up. Carly's on the other line. G'day. That's what Yeah. Tylo. That's what they call Thailand. <laughs> and, and then she hangs up. Can't, get, can't let you in. Can't let you get on the plane. The plane's taking off in an hour and 15 minutes. Mad. We can't let you in. So we have to then try to apply for another visa in the moment with my right details in. Quickly, quickly, can't find it. It says that uh, American documents aren't accepted as valid documents Lord for the US, for, for, for Australia. Doesn't work. Go back to them, scan it again. No, nothing. So we, then we find another way to log it in, yeah. go on the website, fill the form in, get it sorted, accepted, great, perfect, scans it. Eh. Still saying it can't get in! <laughs> oh, no. it, like, it, might, it might not have updated. Sometimes it can take ages to update on the system. Boop. Nothing. And then eventually, they rang Are off... Are you stressing? I, am I stressing? <laughs> I'm thinking I'm going to have to get a flight back from Bangkok to England by myself and pay for it with my own money. And then uh, then eventually, she rings Australia again oh, and just goes like... Go through. Go through. Really? It'll be sorted by the time you're there. Oh, That's I? good, isn't it? Smug How long is the flight from Thailand to Australia? T- Ten hours. Fucking hell. But yeah, so there was a 45-minute window hours. there where I thought... I'm going to be stranded That's in Bangkok like something from a film. Thailand to Australia is 10 hours. Yeah, Australia's nowhere near anything. That's mad. What about New Zealand? Was that part of anything or was that part of Australia and then they fucked off? I don't know, actually. I think they're more closely related to each other, aren't they? Wonderful. But anyway, yeah, well, so there, there you go. Well, there you go. As your question's answered. Uh, right, we've got one. Ask Ethan finally to wrap things up. We've got yeah. Ethan. Ethan. <laughs> Ethan. Ethan, Ethan. Right, so do you remember? I wanted to ask you this at the time. But what would be like, so say, say you split up with your girlfriend, what would be the oldest woman you'd get with? Mm. So, like, what, what, how, what's your age range, would you say? How old are you, um, first of all, Ethan? I'm 23. Okay. Right, so give us the bracket from the youngest. Well, let's not do well, that. <laughs> <laughs> let's assume it's 23 and up. You not, can go for 22. Okay. Well, my, my girlfriend's... 19. Oh, that's pushing it. But you didn't tell us that. How long have you been together for? <laughs> Four years. <laughs> Hang on a sec. <laughs> Excuse me, officer. Yeah. No, the, the, the mask has slipped. Dad, Ethan, you can't be doing that. Four years. No. We've been together four years. No, right? six months. Six years. Six, six months. Six months. <laughs> six, that's how long you'll get. Six months. Okay, so. So let's not do a youngest we, you do, because that's he'd mad. Lose. Um, let's do what's your max? What's your max? Well, um, how old are you at Mum again, Drew McGraw? <laughs> oh, I love how he had to say, Mum. He's giving you too much stick. Yeah, he? how old He's is your mum? for me, isn't he? Uh, mid-50s. Is she? <laughs> Plenty in the tank. No, you can't upset my sister one week my mum. I'm saying next. that she's young. My mum's so 10 years older. mid-50s? Well, that's the oldest I've been with. Oh, oh it's a good, he good, isn't done it? It. He's He's said he's had sex that. with your mum, yeah. which is playground at best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's he's, he's, he's a classic comeback. <laughs> But I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I mean it's a classic. It's a classic comeback. I mean, you just stumped, do not you? The only thing I can do now is say that I've shagged his mum. Yeah, and his nan. Oh. Is your nan still alive? <laughs> she is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I know it. Kept me up all night. <coughs> Woohoo! What's she called again? <laughs> not what you called her though, is no, it? No, no, no. Do you know what she called me? What'd she call him? She called it. She called him her little Werther's original. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She just sucked him away. <laughs> <laughs> and on that that is going to be all from us make sure you check us out on patreon sloppyjoes.com forward slash patreon no sloppyjoes no patreon.com forward slash podcast. it's link is in the description thank you Ethan thank you Joe goodbye bye 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 bye, bye. bye.